Hello and welcome, Dr. Nathan Bryan here with my February 2023 website blog. Heart Health Month, do not become a statistic. February is American Heart Month, a time when all people can focus on their cardiovascular health. Despite the annual awareness, billions of dollars in research and funding, cardiovascular disease remains the number one killer of men and women around the world. Cardiovascular disease accounts for one in every four deaths in America. Every year in the United States, 610,000 people die of heart-related disease. Every 42 seconds, someone has a heart attack and each minute, someone dies from heart disease-related event. The amount of people dying from cardiovascular disease is equivalent to four jumbo jets crashing and killing everyone on board every single hour, every single day, every year. The past two years, these statistics have actually increased. Today, we have more people dying from heart attack and stroke than ever before in the history of the world. Why isn't this statistic the daily headlines? Cardiovascular disease and mortality are increasing in working age adults. There's also a disparity among African Americans. Black adults are among those bearing the highest burden of cardiovascular disease and the related health consequences, particularly in the United States. Black adults in the United States die from heart disease at a rate two times higher than white adults. Perhaps, not coincidentally, February is also Black History Month. These statistics are simply unacceptable. We know what causes cardiovascular disease, the lack of nitric oxide production, which leads to uncontrolled vascular inflammation, plaque instability, and rupture. We certainly know how to diagnose cardiovascular disease and recognize the symptoms associated with it. We also know how to prevent the loss of nitric oxide, ameliorate symptoms, and prevent the onset and progression of cardiovascular disease and even reverse heart disease. So what's the problem? The problem is education, awareness, and implementation into the practice of medicine and the treatment of patients. There's a known progression of cardiovascular disease. We must recognize the symptoms that lead to cardiovascular disease and heart attack and stroke. And there's four of these. So number one, the first sign and symptom is an increase in blood pressure caused by the loss of the elasticity of the blood vessels due to plaque being deposited underneath the lining of the blood vessels. Two thirds of Americans have an unsafe increase in blood pressure. Number two, there is a loss of regulation of blood flow. This will manifest as erectile dysfunction. If you cannot dilate the blood vessels of the sex organs to allow for blood engorgement, then you have lost the regulation of blood flow due to the loss of nitric oxide production. Sexual dysfunction is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease. More than half the people over the age of 40 repeat sexual dysfunction. This is both men and women. Number three, blood vessels become inflamed and white blood cells start to stick to the lining of the blood vessels causing oxidative stress and immune dysfunction. Blood labs become abnormal, showing an increase in oxidized lipoproteins, an increase in urinary isoprostanes, increase in high sensitivity C-reactive protein, an increase in ferritin, and an increase in the sedimentation rate. Number four, blood cells called platelets become activated and any plaque that may be formed in the blood vessels is at risk of rupturing, causing an occlusion and disruption of the blood supply to that area. Nitric oxide is what keeps platelets from becoming activated and clotting. If we lose nitric oxide, our blood is at greater risk of clotting. Even every primary care doctor or cardiologist will recognize that every patient with underlying cardiovascular disease has those verifiable conditions, and in most cases will prescribe drugs that are targeted towards those observations and labs. What doctors fail to recognize is that nitric oxide can correct and improve every single step in the progress of cardiovascular disease, heart attack, and stroke. Nitric oxide dilates blood vessels. It improves vascular compliance. It normalizes blood pressure. Nitric oxide improves sexual function and improves circulation through all vascular beds. Nitric oxide reduces inflammation, oxidative stress, and immune dysfunction. Nitric oxide prevents platelets and immune cells from sticking to the lining of the blood vessels. Nitric oxide is the holy grail for cardiovascular disease. Science is clear. We now just need more physicians and the major medical associations to start communicating this to other physicians and to their patients. The good news is that you don't have to wait for your physician to implement this. You can actually take control of your own health. Start improving your nitric oxide production today. There are a few simple steps. Number one, if you use mouthwash or fluoride toothpaste, you must stop. 
Mouthwash and fluoride kill essential bacteria in the mouth responsible for the production of nitric oxide. Number two, if you use antacids, you must stop. Antacids shut down nitric oxide production and increase your risk of heart attack and stroke by 40%. Number three, eat some more green leafy vegetables, less processed food. Number four, get at least 20 to 30 minutes of physical exercise per day. Number five, take a nitric oxide supplement to restore normal levels. These simple steps will have a profound impact on your personal health. I've witnessed this over the past 15 years. An additional problem is that most nitric oxide supplements do not work or do anything to improve nitric oxide. Companies that sell such products are causing much more harm than providing benefit. So during the month of February, I will post videos of the most common and popular nitric oxide products to reveal whether they work or not. So stay tuned. Consumers deserve to know the truth. Take action today and do not become a statistic. Thank you for listening.